Hello everyone, my name is Zat and this is your Tycoon News for December 2014. This month's show includes the new SimCity mobile game, a look at Emergency 5, and even some free resources for building your own Tycoon game. Using technology that could be available in the near future, Soul Zero tasks you with developing the first self-sustaining colony on Mars. Explore the surface to find methane emissions, subsurface ice, and mineral deposits, eventually cutting off supplies from Earth by 3D printing your own materials. Manage resources such as power, food, water, and oxygen, while also using orbital satellites and radar to prepare for dust storms, meteorite impacts, and solar radiation. Conduct research to increase food production and protect the colony from the harsh climate. Randomly generated maps can land you on ice caps, lava plains, and arid equatorial regions, each offering distinct challenges to survival. The game has been greenlit on Steam as an expected to release in early 2015. Electronic Arts' new mobile game SimCity Build It recently launched on the iTunes and Google Play stores. The free-to-play game offers in-app purchases and uses some assets from the PC version of SimCity. While most reviews claim the game is fun, addictive, and looks great, some reviews also claim the game is slow and it's difficult to acquire resources unless you're willing to pay real money for them. I haven't had a chance to try out the game for myself, but if you have, let us know what you think about it in the comments. Build and Defend is a game where you survive by building a fortress, fight waves of monsters, and explore dungeons. You can play on your own or in co-op mode with friends, either online or locally on the same computer. The game is similar to other sandbox survival games in that you farm for food, fight monsters, and build structures by removing and placing blocks, but in Build and Defend you also have the option of buying items like automated turrets and rescuing NPC workers who can help you maintain your fortress. Speaking of rescuing people, Emergency 5 is now available. Control more than 20 types of vehicles to protect the three German cities of Berlin, Hamburg, and Munich, with the city of Cologne also being included if you have the Deluxe Edition. Due to the lack of information and in-game footage from the developers during development, many fans were pleasantly surprised by the quality of graphics supported by the game at release. On the other hand, some fans are disappointed by the repetitive gameplay, which hasn't advanced much since previous releases of the Emergency series. The Architect is a CryEngine game being developed by Enodo Games in France. I've been reluctant to report on this title as no news has been released about the game since its announcement back in May of this year. The game developer's parent company specializes in 3D environment presentations of cityscapes and buildings for real-world real estate developers. So far, what is known about the game is that players will take possession of a pre-built version of Paris, and they will be faced with challenges such as major urbanization or dwindling gas reserves. More information about the game should come out around the fall of 2015, after the so-called key handover ceremony. Raise crops, keep animals, brew beer, and serve your orcish guests in Orcish Inn, the tavern simulation game. Players can determine their beer's final characteristics like alcohol strength and acerbity by keeping a close eye on their crop's condition, wetness, soil nutrition, and spacing will affect the quality of the plants. The tavern is built tile by tile, giving the player full control of the design. A well-decorated and warm retreat will keep the orcish patrons coming through all weather and seasons where they will chat with others and brawl over your fine brew. A public pre-alpha version of the game is planned to be released very soon. As I know some game developers follow Tycoon News as well, I thought I'd showcase some free resources you can use if you're planning on creating your own Tycoon game. Kenny Vlugels has released a set of pre-rendered isometric tiles for building cities or landscapes. The sprites currently include roads, water, and terrain pieces, and there are plans to soon offer sets with modular buildings and vehicles. Your graphics are free to use, but consider giving proper credits or even a donation at kenny.nl if you plan on using them in one of your projects. Also consider dropping me a line if you have a game you'd like featured on Tycoon News at writezat at gmail.com or on Twitter at zat. I hope you enjoyed this episode and please consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to catch future episodes. Thanks for watching and take care.